This week is Parshas Noach. Noach succeeded in saving all of the mammals and the birds of the world from the flood. The Torah tells us that we can identify kosher mammals based on whether or not they chew their cud, which is something that you have to really watch the animal, but also by looking at the animal, by looking at its feet, you can tell if the animal is kosher. Kosher mammals have split hooves. Here we have the hoof of a, it's actually a giraffe, but you can see it's a more rounded hoof compared to the hoof of a deer, which is a more pointed, but both these hooves are split, as opposed to the hoof of a zebra, where you can see the hoof is not split, and another kind of foot, which is not a hoof at all, is a claw, which of course is not a split hoof. The other way that Chazal have that we can identify a kosher mammal is based on its horns. Only kosher mammals have horns. There are two kinds of horns that are recognized as being on kosher mammals. The first is a horn which is hollow, such as this, the horn of a springbok, and this is the horn of a pronghorn. Both of them are hollow. There are other kinds of hollow horns, but they look either like one of these. And the other kind of horn which would be on a kosher animal is this horn, which is the horn of an elk, or this, is, which is the horn of a moose. These horns tend to fall off. They are not on top of the skull, meaning they're not covering the skull. They just rest on the skull and fall off at the end of the season.